the office of the Ombudsman for the city of Johannesburg has officially been declared open for business. Residents can now lodge their complaints directly with the Ombudsman. However, residents are advised that the office of the Ombudsman is an office of last instance. This means that residents must first take their complaints through remedial avenues already available to them in the city before escalating these to the office of the Ombudsman. Well, for more clarity on the role of the city's ombudsman, I have with me the man himself, Advocate Zudu Gumede. Welcome. Thank you. It's Thank a pleasure you. to meet with you. It's a pleasure to be here. Now, I believe this appointment is the first of its kind in South Africa. It's the first of its kind in, certainly in Johannesburg. Uh, you could say in South Africa, they are. Um, I think Cape Town already has an ombudsman. Okay. Um, so does the city of uh, Durban. Um, but I think that they are structured slightly differently, um, which makes this particular appointment particular, unique. Yes, makes it unique. very unique. Because here we have um, uh, council has uh, passed a, a bylaw, um, which sets out the, the the powers of the ombudsman, the scope of operation. Um, whereas in Cape Town and in Durban, they basically operate on the basis of um, the policies of the city. There isn't a document. Uh, that sets out the powers and the scope, and you know, as 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 as, as has happened here. Mm -hmm. um, so, I expect that a lot of, in fact, all the municipalities will be emulating this example. Mm -hmm. yeah. Are you excited about this new challenge? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm, I'm sure very... <laughs> it's not going to be an easy task. No, I'm sure mm -hmm. it's not going to be an easy task. But um, you know. In, in life, sometimes you you've got to um, take a leap of faith, and and there is a job to be done, and I am ready to do it. Um, mm -hmm. I will take all that I have with me into this mm -hmm. job, uh, and I hope it works out. And I'm I'm sure it will work out. Mm -hmm. um, do you see yourself as an agent of change for the city? Absolutely, absolutely. Not just for the city. Um, but for society, I, I, I said to my friends, I, I, you know, that um, it's no use uh, sitting on the sidelines and pointing fingers at, at people or things that are not um, going right. Um, there comes a time when you must get in um, and be part of the process to bring about transformation. So that is my thinking, that I, I am going to go there and try and make a difference, try and make and turn things around to the extent that things are not turning the right way. Take us behind the need against the decision that was taken to create this office in the city. The executive mayor um, spoke about this. Um, he said the initial idea actually came from the ANC. Was, you know, the council is, is predominantly an ANC council. Mm -hmm. um, so the ANC passed a resolution some, some time ago that we should think about um, the position of, of an ombudsman in all our municipalities mm -hmm. so that um, you broaden the democratic process, you create a platform for residents mm -hmm. to, um, to voice their grievances in a structured manner and let those uh, grievances be processed in a structured manner as well. So that's why I said, I think it's going to be a, a, a an institution that's going to be recreated over and over again mm -hmm. in the country. How independent will your office be, especially yes. on matters of maladministration, yes. public interest matters? Yes. Well, the city of Joburg has gone out and employed a lawyer. Um, it's gone out and employed an advocate who has been trained in a particular way. Um, I've been in practice uh, for the past 10 years, um, running my own practice, but before that I was in industry for a further 10 years. So. 20 years of cumulative experience of independent thinking. Mm -hmm. um, because that is the training that we have, that we get at law school, that is in training, the training that we get uh, in practice, that you must be, you must produce independent thought. Um, that is what I, one of the things that I bring um, to the job. And I believe you'll be working closely with the public protector as well. Yes, that is correct. That is correct. We've already met. I've already met. That's encouraging protector. because she has definitely carved a reputation for herself as being an independent thinker is, and leader in her own right as well. Absolutely, absolutely. That also reflects the kind of training that she's had. She, she herself is, is, is a lawyer, um, an advocate. Um, so it, it, it must tell you something about that profession. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. <laughs>